This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We are on a job in Greensboro today, and this is a very big, very nice house, but his basement has been continually flooding, and he's already spent tens of thousands of dollars to have this whole network of trenches cut in the basement floor and pumps put in and, and all, the, all the concrete patched, and it's not solving anything. And so if you look at what's going on with his gutters here, you can see, look at this, three air conditioners right here. But if you look at what's going on with his gutters, they're going in the ground, and I'll show you the outfalls of these. And all we're gonna do here is we're going to extend out these gutter downspouts like we do with solid pipe and get this water out of here. And so trying to get this problem solved from the outside what we look at this this is just a corrugated pipe that's slammed full of water and so that's not draining anything if you come over here and look what Jeremy's taking apart right here I'm sure that's full of water but look right here with this brick you can see all the water is just sitting right down in here see all this mold and, and uh, algae and effervescence going on here so once we get this water out of here all this should go away so we're going to extend out this one as well. We're going to extend this out just a little bit further away from the house. The one Jeremy's working on, we're going to extend it just kind of like on the surface through here because we've got to end on top of this brick right here. So we're just going to try to conceal it in the bush. Well, we just cut the saw off. Yeah, just cut it with the saw off. This downspout is catching a good deal of, of uh, water off the roof. And so instead of sending it over here toward the foundation, we're just going to send it out a little bit further. So hopefully that'll help that. You can see where the water's been standing right here as well. And so again, we're just going to try to get this water unimpeded away from the house. So that's what we're working on today. That's all the water that's in that pipe just being held in there because it wasn't sloped properly. Or sloped at all, as Jeremy said. I'm just getting this pulled apart. And I wanted to show you, look at the water in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. But it's kind of interesting because even when I'm holding the pipe up at, at this angle, you can see that this corrugated pipe holds water. Look at that. Look at how it holds water. Those ribs just hold the water. And so there's, this is, you never want to use this stuff because it impedes the flow too much. Look at the inside of that pipe. Once water gets in there and it's angled, there's nothing to stop it. And so this corrugated, it's easy to install and it's really, really cheap, but it just does not work. So that's what we're here replacing. Our line's gonna come across here somewhere. But I wanted to show you, we've looked at these pop-ups before. This is called a pop-up emitter, and you never really wanna use these. The reason is because the pipe, it turns up into a 90, and so all that water just sits in there and holds back on the flow of the pipe. So you always want the pipe to end at a downward angle and not have that back pressure on it like that so you want that water to flow out of here and not be held inside the pipe we're making some progress over here we're gonna have to span this trench so they've had so many so many water problems here that they actually poured this this little sluice right here so we're gonna be trying to go across here and <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Try to get going down this hill. We got these two downspouts caught, and we're just getting things covered up to our Y right here. So this doesn't look the best right here, but it's they're not really concerned about appearance at this point because they've already spent lots and lots of money trying to solve this. So everything's got really good fall to it 
like it's supposed to and we had to come a little bit on the surface here and so the landscaper is going to come in here with some pine bark nuggets and just freshen up and try to cover this pipe up and so again they were not concerned at all about the appearance of it they were mainly concerned about getting this water out of here because like I said his basement's been flooding and he's got pumps and all kinds of stuff down there and it's just not working so that's why we're here This is going to be our outfall right here. The landscaper wanted this to end right here in this natural area instead of going down to the, to the street right there, or the uh, sidewalk. So this is just a standard outfall with some riprap in it. dump it in there. And we've got one more bucket in the van. Okay. And all of it? Yeah. We're over here on the other side of the house now. And I wanted to show you, this is an old drain pipe, I guess. But these are what they had. So watch what happens when I lift this up. It's full of water and it's full of junk in there. I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's really heavy. It's much heavier than it's supposed to be. So the water's not flowing through that and it's probably going back in here. It's probably overflowing right here and just heading back in there. That one's doing the same thing. See that? They just don't flow. The water doesn't flow through them and it backs up. So that's what we're doing with this PVC pipe, is we're giving that, that water a smooth, uninterrupted flow and pathway just out of here. That water's out of here. All right, I think I got these two gutters caught. It was kind of a little bit of a challenge, but I've got a 45 there, a street 22 and a half, a street 22 and a half, 45, and a street 45 right there. So, got really good fall coming off of here. So we should be in good shape and then Jeremy's cutting the bank off of there right now so we'll get that get this pipe rolling this downspout on this side wasn't as concerning as some of the other ones were but we're going to go ahead and extend it out to the walkway there so we don't really have any fall here so we're going to have to pretty much lay the pipe on the surface and the landscaper is going to come back in here with some more ivy and some more plants and try to plant around the pipe and just just cover it up for us All right, I think we're finished with this job and we just basically extended out the gutters to give the water a place to get away from the foundation. He's got a full basement and it's been flooding even after multiple tries to stop it. So we're out here dealing with the water before it gets into the basement, which is a different strategy, but it's the one that I like. So we caught this gutter and it's going across here. The landscaper is going to come in here and plant some plants and get this pipe covered up for us again 
the homeowner was not concerned about the looks of it because he's having so many flooding issues. So this pipe doesn't really look that great right now, but it'll get covered up with vegetation and maybe some pine bark nuggets. So here's our, this one was a real problem here. There's two right there. So we got those caught and there's our outfall right there for that. So once the water gets onto the sidewalk, it just disperses. So again, just trying to get this water, all the water coming off that roof right there, is gonna be now landing way out here, away from the foundation and basement. Over here, this natural area, the landscaper was waiting before he got the mulch back in here so we could get our pipe in and help, the mulch would help cover up the pipe. Here's the outfall right here. And the landscaper said he's going to bring in some more of this river rock and kind of bring it all around here. So he was more than happy with some riprap. Caught these gutters. Right there, everything's got great fall to it, more than a full bubble. Same thing going on over here. The landscaper is going to bring in some pine bark nuggets or some mulch and just try to cover this all up. But again, the goal was to get the water out of here. You can see where they had already poured this little sluice right here trying to keep the water away. And that still wasn't working, so hopefully this will work for him. Over here, we extended this one out a little bit. And this one as well. So there's a lot of water going down there as I showed you earlier. And this one we just tried to put a different angle on it to get it out a little bit. So hopefully this will solve his problems with his flooding basement. I'm back on this job on, and it's raining out. I just want to take a look at what's going on out here. So we got a decent amount of flow right there. It's not raining all that hard right now, but it poured last night. So I just wanted to make sure that this thing was flowing well. I wanted to check on these too and see what the water was doing over here. doesn't look like any water is getting down in there so that's good this one's pumping a lot of water out of there look at that it's not even raining that hard This one is very, this one I was really worried about because of all the water that was down in that little walkway down there. So that's pretty encouraging. This one's also flowing fairly well. And I imagine when it was pouring out last night, this thing was really rolling. So, I was really worried about that gutter too, getting into the ground, because there's a big, an old drain right there that goes straight in the ground. You can see the little river of water going down the, the pathway there.
that one's flowing as well. Again, it's not, it's not really raining anymore. It's still kind of wet though. So I think I missed the storm.